Do you know what the most abundant gas in the atmosphere is? Yes, it's nitrogen and the primary component of the air we breathe. Nitrogen can also be found in rocks including those tucked deep within the planet's interior. Until now, it was different to distinguish between nitrogen sources coming from air and those coming from inside the Earth's mantle when measuring gases from volcanoes. We found that air contamination was masking the pristine source signature. Many volcanic gas samples, says WHOI's geochemist Peter Barry, a co-author of the study. Without that distinction, scientists weren't able to answer basic questions like is nitrogen left over from the Earth's formation or was it delivered to the planet later on? How is nitrogen from the atmosphere related to nitrogen coming out of volcanoes? Barry and lead of Jabrain Lavidi of UCLA, now a researcher at Institut de Physique du Globe de Paris, worked in partnership with international geochemists to analyze volcanic gas samples from around the globe including gases from Iceland and Yellowstone National Park using a new method of analyzing clumped nitrogen isotopes. This method provided a unique to identify molecules of nitrogen that came from air, which allowed the researchers to see the true gas compositions deep within the Earth's mantle. This ultimately revealed evidence that nitrogen in the mantle has most likely been there since our planet initially formed. Once air contamination is accounted for, we gain new and valuable insights into the origin of nitrogen and the evolution of our planet, Barry says. While this new method helps scientists understand the origins of volcanic elements on Earth, it may also prove useful as a way of monitoring the activity of volcanoes. This is because the composition of gas bellowing from volcanic centers change prior to eruptions. It could be that the mix of mantle and air nitrogen could one day be used as a signal of eruptions. This study was supported by the Deep Carbon Observatory and the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation. The research team also included colleagues David Becker and Michael Coase from WHOI scientists from several other universities in the US and from France, Canada, Italy and the United Kingdom and Iceland. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon for our notifications at your fingertips.